And, and it is. There's not a lot of music for handbells and harp out there, but they do sound quite beautiful together. Um, this is a Celtic harp. It is from originated from the, the um, UK, from Ireland, uh, Wales, Scotland. Um, that's where they first were made. Um, but this one actually is a United States made one in Seattle, Washington. Uh, as uh, folk harping came back into practice in the 60s or so, uh, people in Ohio and Seattle, they started making all wood harps that were uh, similar to the Celtic harps you would find in Ireland and Scotland. Uh, so this one is not what you would see at the symphony orchestra. All right, The symphony orchestra ones are about seven feet tall, usually plated in gold, and have uh, 47 strings. This one is all wood. Uh, with a um, spruce soundboard, uh, babinga wood on the on the column, and then only has 36 strings. So the main difference is, other than the size and the and the uh, the wood, is the um, the the harps you would find at the orchestra have pedals, and this one uses levers to change the uh, uh, tones and the pitches of the strings. So it's a little different. So our next two pieces feature the handbells and the harp. The first one is still still still. And the second one is a medley of uh, the Cherry Tree Carol and um, um, Holly and the Ivy.
modern carols. Uh, the first is called In the Bleak Midwinter, and by modern, sorry, I mean within the last like 200 years is modern. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to do, uh, no, no, uh, to do Um <laughs> 
So the first one is going to be a harp solo uh, in the Bleak Midwinter, which is by uh, uh, English composer Gustav Holst, who used a poem of Christina Rossetti, a beautiful poem. Uh, so if you have a chance, we're in a library, so please look it up afterwards. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 